So up until 2013, we had 41% of the company in an employee stock option plan. And at an all company meeting in 2013, Kim got up on stage and passed out envelopes to everyone and said, uh, we sold the company. And the air, as you could probably imagine, completely sucked out of the room. And she said, if you open your envelope, you'll see who we sold the company to. So, holy cow, it's kind of a big moment. So everybody opens their envelope and inside the envelope was a, a mirror to signify that we'd become a 100% employee owned company. The driving value of the decision to sell the company to our coworkers was that the people who were most likely to um, take the company into the future in a way that was consistent with what matters to me and with what matters to my management coworkers because they were very involved in that process. So we looked at every option available. Do you bring in equity? Do you go public? You know, how do you, how do, you do this thing? And how do you do this thing in a way that on the other side you're intact and you're the company that you want to be. So we looked at strategic buyers, we looked at management buyouts, we looked at the ESOP, and we spent about three years really sort of researching because you'd answer one question and another one would come up. And so after three years, we felt like for New Belgium, the best option was um, an ESOP buyout. And so we went through a ton of research and really looked at everything. And when we landed on the ESOP, it was like, yep, that's the ticket. That's what we need to be, be doing. Um, that's the right thing for New Belgium. We have an all staff uh, meeting every month where we openly share how we're doing, you know. Here's how sales is doing. Here's the profitability of our sales. Here's what, how much we're spending in sales and marketing. And um, you know that's really great for everybody to understand that. Um, I think as employee owners, you know, we do own the business, so we have to know what drives the business. As an employee owner, um, I feel like I have a bigger responsibility to. Um, to watch how much I spend. I'm developing a wellness program. I need to make sure it's gonna be effective. People are gonna attend and we're gonna, um, the money I put into it is gonna be an investment and it's gonna be well used. Every dollar saved is a dollar of profit for every employee. There's not a lot of waste here. You know, you see us when paper gets printed, you see us turn around and use that as scrap paper. I mean, that's one small example, but we do that on a larger scale. And so nobody then has to hold them accountable because they're not doing their job. They're, they are invested in doing the best job they can. Probably one of the biggest compliments I've ever had since I've been here. Um, one of our posse members, which is Aesop misspelled backwards, uh, was orienting a new coworker, and he introduced me and he said, uh, this is Jenny. He said, remember how I told you we don't work for a corporation, we work for each other? She's the one that makes that happen. And I teared up. Like I, you know, we work for each other. We work for people. We work, we're committed to this idea of employee ownership and that we're all employee owners. We work for each other and that's a compelling reason to want to do a good job. We want, we want to make life better. We want to increase each other's wealth. We're all co-owners. We all do this thing together. There's just a different level of working together you get in a company that's co-owned than in any other capitalization strategy in my opinion. Um, you know, we talk to our auditors sometimes and they'll say, you know, what about your internal controls and making sure that, you know, people aren't stealing and, and we sort of chuckle because we all hold each other accountable. There's no sort of like sticking it to the man because you're sticking it to yourself, right? You're an owner, I'm an owner. So it just, it gives a very different way of running a business. Happy people are more productive people and there's lots of academic research out there. It says employee owned companies with an employee ownership culture are more successful over the long run than those that aren't. When you empower people and you give them ownership and you give them say, they show up differently. 
and that absolutely goes to the bottom line.